Hi, I just wanted to give you a really quick introduction to um, this bubble observation that you're going to do. Um, blowing bubbles is a pretty simple thing. If you don't have a bubble, you know, a can of pre-made bubble solution with a bubble wand, no worries, you've got all kinds of options. Um, and I just wanted to show you a few of those. So if you've got any kind of dishwashing detergent, um, usually we think that uh, the basic bubble making stuff, bubble goo, uh, is a 12 to 1, 12 part water, 1 part uh, detergent, uh, 12 to 1 ratio. So I just grabbed uh, a cup with some measuring lines. You could do 1 teaspoon to 12 teaspoons or any such thing. Um, and I'm going to put in uh, about 5 milliliters, turns out, which is a teaspoon. And then I'm going to uh, see that's five that I'm going to put in and cut this off to close to 60 milliliters. It just kind of gives you an idea what 12 to 1 looks like. One was, my, my detergent was just there at the bottom and uh, half of this little glass makes up the water. So it's mostly water. Um, I'll stir that up. Not too much, because I don't want too many suds. Hopefully, yeah. we'll see. I've got some suds in there. Yeah. That's all right. This is the basics that you want for this assignment. If uh, you've already got some made up, great. If you want to mess with this recipe, a little bit more water, a little bit less water, a little bit more detergent, you can add sugar. Corn syrup is uh, an interesting addition. Glycerin, if you've got that around. They say also aging this overnight, that can help. Um, try any of those things. More important, once you've got this, um, play around with blowing the bubbles. Um, and that's just as complicated as it sounds. I had some solution here already made up. And I can just blow bubbles. This is, uh, when I host this in class, this is a three hour lab doing this. Uh, just to give you a sense of variety, it can be straws. I've got that straw. I had the smaller one here. Oh, nice. I had a piece of pipe here. Yeah. Good. It's a little windy. But you can't see really what's going on. Big pipe. There's nothing special. There we go. Nothing special about these pipes. They happen to be this long because that's where I found them. That's the state in which they were found. They could be this big. I, whatever you have around, a piece of string, some pipe cleaner, um, a wand, some kind of funnel. All these things will work. In a pinch, we'll see if I can get this to work. Uh, if you get your hands really soaking, in fact, maybe. You can kind of see with some soapy hands. Sometimes. <laughs> All right. Get your hands soapy and see what happens. The other things you can play around with is just going straight into the, the stuff. There's all kinds of things you could be doing with the bubbles. Huh. So there's not a particular set of rules about how to do this assignment. It is an assignment about observation observe bubbles. You'll see. Okay. Happy science.